Hello everyone, welcome back. Let us continue with the next question. What mapper function can you use to get the lookup values in mapping builder? So when we build an integration, we drag and drop a mapper. And we also create lookup tables. So how to access this lookup table values in mapper builder is a question. So options are get lookup value, find lookup value, lookup value, search lookup value. So the answer for this question is lookup value means C. So let me show you this in documentation. I'll also provide this link in uh, this video description. So the build lookup function wizard for creating the lookup value function parameter values is accessible from the expression builder in Oracle integration cloud service. Okay. So we use lookup value function to call lookups and lookup values into mapper. So that is answer. So let us continue with the next question. Which three are created and managed using integration page in process cloud service? Okay, so we build processes in OIC. So that is also one of the features. So from process cloud service, what all we can create and manage? So we can, so options are ICS integrations, Java cloud service, REST connector, web service connector. Okay. So I know when, when we are building the processes in OIC, some situations comes like, you know, in the middle, we need to call a OIC integration. So requirements required to call a OIC integration. So we can, we can do that. From processes, we can call OIC integrations. And also, in some cases, we also need to get values from the third party applications using either REST service, REST service or using SOAP services. Okay. So this we can do. So here the options are ICS integration, Java cloud services, REST connector, web service connectors, which three are created and managed. So option A is correct. We can access integrations. And option C is correct. We can you know, connect to REST connectors. And option D is also correct, web services connectors. But B is not correct. Java cloud services is not correct. Okay, answer is A, C, D. Let us move on to the next question. Which two statements about lookup are correct? Okay. Create a lookup to map values between applications. Yep, that is true. We use lookup for that purpose only. So create a lookup to map values between applications. That is true. And B, Lookup values are deployed as part of the integration activation. You know, we create a lookup and we use that lookup in multiple integrations. So it, it does not depend on uh, any integration activation or deactivation. Okay. So B is not correct. C, changes made to the lookups already used in active integrations take effect immediately. This is true. Because let's say, let's say, you know, integrations, multiple integrations are using one lookup. And if you change anything in that lookup, that, that, that affects to that already active integrations are, you know, uh, yep, that, this is true. And D, you cannot clone a copy of an existing lookup. You can clone. So this is also wrong. Okay. So answer for this is A and C. And I let me show you this link.
will also provide this in this video description. You can copy from there. You can get answers, you know, for that. Clone a lookup, yeah, we can clone a lookup. So please go through this, it will give you complete information about the lookup. Okay, so let us continue with the next video. Sorry, next question. So what are the four steps required to complete the task? Create a connection. To create a connection, what are four steps required from the below? So configure connection properties, import SSL certificate, test connection, select adapter, configure lookup, configure connection security. Okay. E, configure connection properties. That is true. We need to configure connection properties. You know, uh, what is the server host, I mean, host details and, uh, you know, the, that host details and port details we need to configure. So configure connection properties is true. And import SSL certificate, this is not true. This is not required for connections. And test connection is also true. We need to test the connection once everything is set up. And then D, select an adapter. Yes, we need to select an adapter before configuring anything. And then configure lookup. This is not required. And F, configure connection security. This is also true. We need to provide username and credentials. I'm sorry, username and password. So let me tell you the order, steps in order. Select an adapter. First thing we need to do is select an adapter and configure connection properties, and then configure connection security, and then finally test the connection. So these four are required to complete the task. Create connection. A, C, D, F is correct. So let us move on to the next question. Which two are types of authentication that are supported for Services in integration API platform cloud service. Which two or types of authentication that are supported? Option A, Kerberos. B, WSS, username token. And C, OAuth 2. And D, basic authentication. So from these four options, everyone knows D is supported because that is basic. So basic authentication is supported. And the, what is the other one? What two? You know, I think you, you are already aware of this. These days, when we are using REST, using when we are connecting to other applications, third-party applications using REST, most of the most of the applications are going with the what two for high security. Okay, what two means, you know, we connect to applications based using a token. No, we, we send username and password to what servers that takes that username and password and verify against uh, a lab server. And if that username and password is correct and that response back with the token. And again, it sends the token for the validation. And if that token is valid, then it you know, uh, let us log in. So C and D are supported. Okay, thank you guys. We'll, we'll see you in the next video. Good luck.